Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic morning thus far. It is Saturday as I am recording this and I'm recording it early because we're gonna have the air conditionings running and conditionings, air conditioners running and you won't hear me if the one in the studio kicks on. Um, before I get too, you could get emotional on this one because it fired me up. Um, watch the video I did on Diane Feinstein and how her coworkers and staffers said she's losing her marbles. Did a whole video on that. Well, old Diane Feinstein, the queen mother of gun control here in this country, the one who said, and I'm going to quote this, if I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States for an outright ban, picking up every one of them, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, I would have done it. Well, she is at it again. I also, before I jump into this bill that was submitted yesterday by Diane Feinstein, I want to remind folks about the famous Heller versus DC decision by the United States Supreme Court. It said, amongst a bunch of other things, and I'll paraphrase because I don't have the decision in front of me, but the government cannot ban an, an outright ban on a class of arms, especially if it's one that Americans have chosen. It's in common use for self-defense. All right, let's get into this bill by Dianne Feinstein. Here is a picture of page one of the bill and it's called the Age 21 Act. What it is, at the very beginning, like 15 and a half pages, 15 and three quarter pages actually, are definitions that she wants to insert into 18 USC 921A alpha, which is the definitions section of US code. And specifically where she's gonna add these definitions, it's gonna be right after the firearms definitions, actually specifically right after handgun. And she wants to introduce these definitions here on the screen. Semi-automatic pistol, semi-automatic shotgun, and she wants to create a whole new category of weapon, the semi-automatic assault weapon. Now, if you're interested in what she thinks a semi-automatic assault weapon should be defined as, it would be any of the following, regardless of country of manufacture or caliber of ammunition accepted. Semi-automatic rifle that has the capacity to accept a detachable magazine and any one of the following, a pistol grip, a forward grip, a folding, telescoping, or detachable stock, or is otherwise foldable or adjustable in a manner that operates to reduce the length, size, or other dimension, or otherwise enhances the concealability of the weapon. If it has a grenade launcher, a barrel shroud, or a threaded barrel, it would be a semi-automatic assault weapon. And they're even going to ban those fixed mag uh, semi-automatic rifles that some states have moved towards as far as compliance. But if you happen to have an attached tubular device designed to accept and capable of operating only with 22 caliber rimfire ammunition, then they just threw you a bone. And then they go on, there's a ton of pages of de definitions, but yes, they define the semi-automatic pistol assault weapon variants. Uh, and they go on to name dozens of makes and models by name. And of course, any copycats or duplicates of said uh, rifles and or pistols would be illegal as well for people under 21 years of age. Again, that's what the, the name of the bill is, the uh, Age 21 Act. And they also squeeze in their definition of high capacity magazines, but they throw in uh, belt fed drums, uh, stripper clips, they throw all that in there. So under this bill, a, a, a belt with, with, with rounds attached to it, a belt fed for machine gun would be a high capacity magazine. Oh, Diane. But then if you wanna get into the meat and potatoes of this bill, what is the Age 21 Act doing? Other than defining a whole bunch of stuff to get people caught up in a jam, we have to go to the very bottom of page 15 where it starts the prohibitions. Now the prohibition uh, section will alter 18 USC 922, and that is all of the unlawful acts that are spelled out in, uh, in law related to firearms and firearms transactions. So as you can imagine in their liberal paradise, these will save the world. This will stop all criminals immediately. And by the way, they're pushing this bill because the last two major incidents uh, were perpetrated by people under 21 years of age. So now everybody under 21, we must, we must penalize all of you because you all think the same, apparently, according to Diane Feinstein, you're all programmed the same. So uh, possession, transfer, sale to, uh, person under 21 of any of these items that are in the 15 pages of definitions, including magazines, 
uh, rifles, semi-automatic rifles, uh, semi-automatic uh, pistols, and any ammunition capable to operate in those items. So they're basically, she's basically limiting everything that a under 21 person could do to 22 caliber rim fire, unless of course, said aged person has a firearm or that ammunition while near the firearm, but not in the firearm, while being transported and covered and secured, of course, because there's law on that. And also if that said 18 to 21 year old is using it on, in the accordance of their employment, or if they're a member of the armed forces, of course, because we, you know, they, they want to send all of the kids to war for all of their desires so they can get rich. Also, if they have expressed written permission by their parent or legal guardian to use one of these items with some of those seeds. And, of course, if they're ranching or farming. But even then, they need a, a, a mom and dad note. And it has to be under the discretion of uh, an adult who is not a prohibited person. So if you really want to know more, it's 22 pages in length. And I will have it linked in the bottom here in the description and in the pinned comment. But it, they never, ever let a tragedy go to waste. This is a chance for them in their minds to ban them all. Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. Hey, Diane. Ain't happening. Guys and gals, thank you for your time. Just wanted to put this on your radar. I'm sure more crazy bills will continue to get pumped down the uh, pipeline here because they got old Sniffin' Joe who's willing to do anything he can for gun control because he is bought and paid for by Every Town for Gun Safety, Moms Demand Action, Gabby Giffords, Brady Group, you name it. They own this clown and uh, he is marching to their orders. They've removed the acting director of the ATF put in someone they approve of. His newest uh, appointee or, or his nominee to lead the ATF permanently is someone that they want. Uh, it's just crazy what, how big of a puppet this old buffoon is. If you want to help this channel continue to grow and get the news out, please hit all the buttons down below. Hit the like button. Uh, share this with everybody you can and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The goal for the year is to hit 500,000 subscribers. It took me about a year to get 500 subscribers when I first started. So this is a huge accomplishment and I owe it all to you. And uh, if you would like to see the channel grow, please help out by subscribing, getting all your friends to subscribe, get your gun groups to subscribe, everybody at your range. I appreciate the effort. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.